some people miss loved ones and you know you kind of feel like you're alone man and you know I, i've been in that crowd you know my grandmother passed some years ago um and you know anybody that know me know me know that you know my grandmother raised us for uh, several years uh, when my mom was getting her education and everything so you know those were some tough tough first you know the first christmas or thanksgiving without the, the that that loved one man and and it's real easy to just sink down into a lull or sink down into a, a, a depression and and that's not to say that you shouldn't be sad because people are quick to say man you know hey don't be sad you know pick your head up i mean all that sounds great on the outside but until you experience it you know you really you know it's really you, you really can't just say you know get up it's all right and it is okay it will be all right but it's okay to grieve it's okay to cry it's okay to chill stay at home not do anything it is perfectly fine it's perfectly fine not to be on social media getting triggered by pictures of other people's you know loved ones that are still here and the family fun that they appear to be having y'all call that um that, that they appear to be having and everything and those can be triggers you know so some tips from me from your boy e vapors is one it's okay to miss that loved one to be sad and to be frustrated and even to be upset to be mad it is perfectly okay get that off your chest man go on through it you know if you gotta yell you gotta yell you know if you gotta take you a hot shower take you a hot shower whatever you gotta do um just do it you know you know, that's the first thing man just do what you gotta do let it out that's the first thing i would tell you man do what you gotta do let it out and that it's okay you know to be upset and to be sad um two i would say if you know what your triggers are i'm just gonna use social media as an example if you feel like every time you get on the timeline you know you start sinking down because of maybe what you're seeing you know because you miss your loved one stay off of social media <laughs> It is okay, man. Um, take you a break. You know, take you a break every holiday that you feel like might be triggering you. It is okay. You're not running. You're not ducking. You're not hiding. You're protecting yourself. You know, you're your number one investment. You got to protect yourself. You, oh, well, my kids are, are, are number one. Yeah, but if you're not happy and whole, so you're going to have a hard time taking care of your kids. You have a hard time taking care of your, your girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, husband, wife. So you are your number one investment. You got to take care of yourself. So if that means not being on social media during those time frames, that would be my number two suggestion. Stay off social media so you're not overly, you know, triggered. My third thing I, I would tell you, you know, to kind of help you deal with, you know, these type of particular things, you know, it is perfectly okay to have you somebody. It don't have to be a bunch. It can't be a bunch of people. Just somebody, one person that is reaching out to you. Pick up the phone talk to them or text them or FaceTime or something. Communicate with somebody. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say, shut everybody out. Shut everybody down and just stay home all day, all week, all month by yourself. I'm not going to say that. It's perfectly fine to have that quiet time where you're not dealing with anybody. But I would encourage you for this particular situation to help you really get over and to start climbing. I ain't say you're at the top, but for you to start climbing, you know, Grab somebody's hand, man, and that's basically answering that phone, replying to that text of somebody that's reaching out to you, you know, or somebody that you know you can reach out to and just say, hey, man, I ain't feeling my best. And you know they're not going to beat you up and you know, give you some uh, motivational speech at this time. The motivational speeches are great, and I love them, but just somebody that's going to be able to listen to you, vent, talk, or just sit on the phone and not say a word. Y'all got friends like that, man, where you just be on the phone. They, they, they know what's going on. They know you just lost a loved one, whatever, man. They just on the phone, man. Just on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Not expecting, hey, you, you still there? Nah, they know you still there. So reach out to somebody, man. Reach out to that, that, that person that you know you can trust. And maybe you feel like, maybe there's somebody listening right now, and you feel like, man, I don't have anybody. You got me? <laughs> I'm 1,000% I'm serious, man. I'm here for you. You can drop a comment. You can hit me on, on DM on IG, E-Vapors, E-V-A-P-O-R-S. You can hit me on, on IG with that. 
you know, and I'm and I'm right here for you, man. And I, I communicate with you. I, I talk to you, man. I, I walk with you. Or just tune in to videos like this, man, where you know it's all just, it's all motivation. It's all good stuff, man. So those those are my three things that I just kind of want to share with you, man. How to really get through the holidays. So there are several different holidays um, to where you might have these extra feelings um, because you lost a loved one. Hang in there. It's going to be okay. I got you. Other people got you. Put a smile on your face. The more you keep doing it, the better you'll get. And remember, it's okay to grieve. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be upset. You know, this too shall pass. All things will pass, man. Because we're still here. And we have the opportunity to be great, to be better. And those loved ones that aren't here, man, they would love to know that we're continuing their legacy by being great, by being the best that we can be, by representing them at each level on to the next level, man. So keep repping. And your boy E-Vape is going to be here for you. You know what I'm saying? When I'm about to hit this gas, you know what we do around here? Woo. We swipe up. Woo. Fayetteville, North Carolina, with my boy Eric, driving a BMW i8. He got some uh, dope stuff on, on his channel, so subscribe. I think you should. See y'all later.